Hello, my name is Matthew Roberts and I lead Nexon Pruitt's Healthcare Practice Group. As more employers and healthcare consumers express concern about the cost of their healthcare, state legislatures, Congress, and the executive branch have recently made some major changes to create more price transparency in the healthcare system. On December 22, 2020, Congress enacted the No Surprises Act, which is designed to protect consumers from unanticipated medical bills, which goes effective in 2022. Under the Act, consumers will be protected from surprise billing for emergency services from out-of-network providers or facilities, including emergency air transport, and non-emergency services provided by out-of-network providers in in-network facilities. One significant change is that patients will now be billed at rates closer to in-network rates, and this should prevent patients from experiencing large, unexpected medical bills. The issues of how to resolve out-of-network medical disputes between insurance companies and providers under the Act will be dealt with through an independent resolution process, or IDR. This will give a 30-day period for the parties to negotiate an agreed-upon payment amount on their own, or an unbiased IDR entity will make a binding decision as to what price is most reasonable for the service. Before the No Surprises Act, the Centers for Medicaid and Medicare established a price transparency final rule. Effective January 2021, all hospitals are required to publish their standard charges for 300 shoppable services online in a consumer-friendly and convenient format. Under this final rule, consumers should be able to look up a medical procedure on any hospital website and determine what price that procedure will cost. Many hospitals have not been able to fully comply with this rule to date, and the government is considering increasing penalties for noncompliance. One likely consequence of the act is that third-party companies will harvest this data and provide it to healthcare consumers in a format that is easier to understand and allow consumers to compare providers against one another in terms of pricing. On the heels of this first executive order on transparency of hospital prices, the federal government has issued another executive order that requires insurance companies to provide their cost sharing and pricing information through an online tool. Consumers can use this tool to search and obtain specific pricing of prescription drugs and rates paid to in-network providers and allowed amounts for out-of-network providers for a limited period. Outside of the federal level, 35 states have an individually enacted legislation that partially prohibits surprise billing. A handful of states have also enacted legislation requiring pricing transparency in healthcare. It is expected that states will continue to examine this issue on a local level. In conjunction with the recent focus on price transparency, the healthcare industry is also experiencing a shift towards consumerism. Surveys have shown that over 80% of healthcare consumers attempt to look up the price of a service before accessing it, confirming that cost is a major factor in deciding where to receive medical attention. As consumers obtain more data, the ability to use this data in decision-making will increase. The trend toward an increase in transparency in pricing of healthcare, as well as consumerism, has rapidly accelerated in the last two years and shows no signs of reversing. Looking forward, providers should strategize for a fully transparent market and embrace billing simplicity. If you have any questions about any of these issues and how to come into compliance, please feel free to call us at Nexapruit. Our team stands ready to help providers navigate these rapid changes.